I'm going to show you the uh, inventory for the eight lab drawers you have available uh, to you for the labs we do in Chem 1, 2, and 3. Uh, some of you in Chem 1 will get to see some of the equipments available for Chem 2 and Chem 3 usage. We're going to start over here and uh, use Station 1 to show Drawer 1, Station 2 to show Drawer 2, etc. Until we get to Station 8, we'll be at uh, Drawer 8. Station 1, we have our five beakers, various sizes, 50, 100, 150, 250, and 400. We also have four graduate cylinders. Um, graduated means to mark or to grade, and they are cylindrical in shape, so that's where the name comes from. They have markings on them to measure volume. We have the 10 mil, the 25 mil, the 50 mil, and the 100 mil. Uh, next, we have an Erlenmeyer flask named after Mr. Erlenmeyer, its inventor. Uh, his name was originally spelled E-H-R-L-E-N-M-E-Y-E-R. -E -E it's now uh, also okay to have the alternate spelling dropping the H. It's a 125 mil flask. We have a series of test tubes here, 10 total. We have one large, uh, six medium-sized test tubes, and three mini test tubes. Make sure you always have a glass stirring rod available uh, for your experimentation. We have four pipettes. Uh, we have a 10 mil glass, a two mil plastic, and then two ball pipettes, one with a larger, one with a narrower uh, cylinder. You have your military issue plastic spoon, plastic funnel, watch glass, uh, plastic squeeze bottle, and a 48 well uh, reaction plate where we can put uh, reactions into each well and watch what happens. We'll be using that in one of our later labs. Uh, that completes uh, what's in lab drawer one at every station. We're now looking at what's in drawer two. Uh, you probably noticed that everything back in drawer one was either glass or plastic. Everything here in drawer two is ceramic or metal. I'll start with the old time druggist uh, mortar and pestle. We'll use that to crush up different things, especially pills during the Wonder Drug Lab. We have the crucible and cover, which is basically a fancy name for cup and lid. We have our evaporating dish here and a clay triangle. The clay triangle will be used when you want to put something over a flame, uh, over a Bunsen burner flame. Those are all uh, ceramic or clay in nature. We have the asbestos wire gauze. You can see the asbestos there uh, impregnated into the wire gauze. We'll put that over the Bunsen burner also, and you put things on there without causing a fire. The asbestos is dangerous. They've removed it from all buildings, but this little bit won't hurt us the little we use it. It caused lung problems. We have our two rings, one large, one small, for setting things in, for holding it when we're doing some heating. And we have the test tube clamp. Not to be confused with the test tube holder. This is when you just want to individually hold your test tube. This is when you want to keep the test tube secure for a longer period of time. We have the forceps, some people call them tweezers, and the aluminum scoop. I gave you two crucible tongs. You'll notice that on the crucible tongs there's a tip, and that can be used to pick up the lid or the crucible cover. And there is also a uh, uh, expanded shape in the crucible tongs where you can pick things up and hold them, uh, for example, like this. So you don't have to touch the crucible, which may be up to a thousand degrees when we're doing some experiments. Lastly, we have our beaker tongs that look a lot like the crucible tongs, except they have a rubber plastic coating there for picking up the beakers. Uh, if you'll follow me back to station one, I'll show you how that works. We can pick up a hot beaker very simply with the beaker tongs. Remember, station one was glass and plastic. I mean, drawer one is glass and plastic, whereas drawer two tends to be uh, ceramic and metals. Uh, we'll be going over to uh, drawer three in just a minute. We're now looking at what's in drawer three, and they're pretty much just miscellaneous things you need. A lot of it's uh, safety-related equipment. We have our two test tube racks for large test tubes, or actually they'll work for the mediums and for the minis, small test tube rack. We have a test tube brush to clean those test tubes out. Your Bunsen burner named for Mr. Bunsen. And over on the north wall, there is a poster that shows how the Bunsen burner works that I will show you in a few minutes. Uh, you want to study that sometime. It has a lot of good information about how the fuel and the oxygen interact, how you control the flame. We always want to have a blue flame, especially with a tight cone. And of course, you need your rubber hose that will bring the natural gas from the natural gas spigots. 
uh, to the Bunsen burner. We have three safety goggles, complements of federal detachment services that were provided originally by Monsanto. We also have a hot pad. Sometimes you'll want to use that to pick up some things. You're not sure how hot they are and protect your hands. And also for hand protection, we have one pair of heavy vinyl gloves. They are small gloves, so whenever we use those, probably your smaller handed people will use those. But we do have three pair of rubber nubbed cotton gloves, also complements of better detasseling services through Monsanto. So that uh, concludes the miscellaneous items in drawer three. Go. Uh, this poster is called How the Bunsen Burner Works and the flame may be varied in length from a quarter inch to a foot tall by adjusting the gas flow through the needle valve in the base, uh, which you'll see down here for this particular style. We have a slightly different style provided for you. Uh, when you have a Bunsen burner flame, it should be blue. It'll have an inner cone and an outer cone. Uh, one of them is called the reducing zone, and it's called the oxidizing zone. You'll learn what those means at the end of uh, Chem 1, and you'll study that a lot in Chem 2. Uh, you can turn the tube to adjust airflow. It's actually like a dial and opens up with more air in, which allows a hotter burning flame. So it's an adjustable tube for varying the amount of air mixed with the natural gas. We can clean this and should clean it by uh, keeping the air valves open by drawing a wire through it. You'll see that later. There's gas inlets for where the natural gas comes in. It's corrugated or rough so the rubber tubing will not slip off. We have a needle valve in there for adjusting the uh, flow of gas more or less and there's also packing around that so it doesn't leak. If you do notice a leaking uh, Bunsen burner, let me know. I need your replacement. We'll get it fixed. We can turn the valve for just gas flow and it all sits on a base. So uh, there are two different kinds of Bunsen burners we have available. Um, the one that I provided you is slightly different than this poster, but I do have some of those if you ever want to see the alternative uh, style. Well, let's now move on to uh, the electronic equipment available to you starting in Station 4 through 8.